again for uh, talking us today. Uh, so here's the question. Does the fan have a case here? We're going to move on to that. Should the Davises apologize to avoid a big expensive headache of a lawsuit? Well, we've got criminal defense attorney on board, Lauren Lake, and former prosecutor David Schwartz here to talk about this. Lauren, does Antonio have the right to protect his wife with a minute four left in overtime, or should he have just let her fend for herself? Give me a break. Of course he has the right. They should be ashamed of themselves and really understand that a man has a right to protect his family. David is ugging right now. David, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, come I'll on, go, Lauren. Lauren, give me a what, break. David? This is This is ridiculous behavior by a, a, an NBA player. This is not just a man walking down the street protecting his wife. It's ridiculous behavior. You know what type of havoc could have been caused in Chicago by but running he didn't up into touch the stands him. like that? David, Apparently, he didn't, Antonio, even, touch you, didn't even touch him. Do you know what kind of havoc just running into the stands? It's against every NBA rule imaginable. Wait. Five games is not enough. And you know what? He should be sued for defamation. Right, but, David. but David, it's not about what he, it was what he perceived. You have to understand that. He's standing on the court playing. What? He doesn't understand the workings of the communication upstairs. He just looks at his wife and okay. she looks threatened. It's well, 20, it's 20 rows up. It's 20 rows up. What is? Why is he perceiving anything? He's supposed to be playing a basketball oh, game. Oh, give we're me not, a we're break. Not somewhere else. <laughs> this wait, is Chicago. There's David, security all over We're looking the place. at the fan right I'm sorry, yeah. but we're looking at the fan right now. Let's say that fan had uh, Antonio's wife in a chokehold. Right. Then does he have the right to sh sh shoot up there? Yeah, that's a different situation. And why obviously. does he let? It, why that's does he have to let it come situation. to that? Had that man continued to play that game oh, and that fan assaulted his wife, he would have never and, forgiven and, himself. And, and then was, you would have been on there saying, "What kind of man is she, he?" I respect the fact that he went to check on his okay. family. And she was a perfect angel, right, Lauren? Give me a break. It's there was not a about guard. her. There was She's a not playing the game. Sitting right there, Lauren. Right there. She's He's done not this playing the, the game. He has no right to be up there in the first place. Players cannot run up in the stands, period. And five players games is not Players cannot enough. run up in the and stands. Then, and then players but if their family is being threatened, David, uh, David, I'm glad I'm not married oh, to you oh, today. Please, because if you wouldn't come check on your wife, shame on you. But if I'm an NBA player, there's certain guidelines you have to abide by, and he didn't abide by well, it. Where and was what about security? And you know what? Five games what is too much. Slander? What about just one what game? What about All calling right. this guy a drunk in front of we everybody? Go. Come on. <laughs> All right, David Schwartz, Lauren Lake, Thank I won't you. be attending your Thank wedding anytime soon. Thank you both.